a concert. And of course, you have the NFL experience, you got Super Bowl Central, so it may be hard to find a parking spot. Yes, so the light rail may be your best bet if you're headed downtown. And if you've never taken a ride on it, now's the time to do it. Celeste is streaming live, showing us how easy it you're is. On board the light rail right now. <laughs> That's right, yes, on board the light rail uh, right around here in downtown Phoenix. This may be probably the best way to get downtown from any part of the valley. Uh, they've got parking lots all over. You can park and ride, and it's four bucks for an all day pass. I'm going to bring Ann Glosser in. She's with Valley Metro. And thanks for your time this morning. Thank you for having us. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Good to see you. Uh, tell us about the light rail and, uh, and how folks can board it and, and make their way downtown. Definitely. We are excited to be providing special expanded service for Super Bowl activities and to provide a direct connection to Su Super Bowl Central for people in the valley. So basically you can take your car or hop on the light rail, whatever is easiest. We have park and rides. It's four dollars for an all-day pass and it'll get you downtown to Verizon Super Bowl Central. Another thing, if you live um, anywhere in the valley, we're also providing enhanced bus service with express and rapid routes and you can park at any park and ride. I love that idea because we in the valley here who call this place home, we know the, the rapid rides, the rapid buses, we see them here for folks who work down here, but those will be in service for folks for the Super Bowl as well. Absolutely, and we have a ton of maps, we have schedules, we have a way for people to be able to, to plan ahead, build their game plan strategy to get downtown, to get to all the festivities, and that's at valleymetro.org slash Super Bowl. Let's talk about the locations here. We're in the West Valley over at Christown, uh, Montebello and 19th Ave. Uh, there's, that's kind of the, for the west part of, of the Valley. Folks, can, there's a parking lot right there near that big super target. I know it. That's where I shop. Um, and then on the East Valley, uh, where, how far east does the light rail go? It goes to Sycamore and Maine in Mesa, and it travels through Phoenix, Tempe, and Mesa to get downtown. And again, for people who live throughout the valley, there, it, there are those options with the express and rapid bus service. It's operating every half hour. Both light rail and, um, and bus service is operating until 2 a.m. through Saturday. And you have a lot of people who are actually going to be located near the light rail. They're going to be wearing this, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. We have volunteer ambassadors who are going to be providing guidance, directing people, making sure they're knowing where they're going, and just having a great time. And they will be wearing special vests, um, and that will have the Valley Metro logo on them. So if you see the bright neon vest, then you can go up, ask a question, and get, get what you need answered. And what I noticed downtown as well this morning, you have actually specific uh, boarding and deboarding locations as far as the light rail. in the best way possible into Verizon Super Bowl Central. And again, where those boarding and deboarding stations are located, that is also online at valleymetro.org slash Super Bowl. And again, the ambassadors will be wearing, so this is what you can look at. Can't miss it. Exactly. <laughs> it pops. Yes, it does pop. Thank you. Angle Austin with Valley Metro. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All that info, valleymetro.org.